Hey Soul Family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we are doing how is the new moon in Gemini affecting your life in the next month? What to expect? I love doing new moons on this channel. It's just a great opportunity to plant new seeds. Great energy for that. And especially this new moon in Gemini, which you will feel is very uh, lighthearted. It has... Um, the energy of lightening up, uh, you will feel like you um, have this urge to connect with others, uh, a laugh. You'll feel, you'll, you'll notice that social media is more active than usual during this period. And yeah, there's this energy of spin, uh, spontaneity. So I hope you enjoy this energy. I'm looking forward to it personally. So we need this <laughs> light energy after a long time of um, heaviness. And to do this reading, we will be picking up, uh, picking four piles for you to choose from. So one, two, three, and I feel this one. Yeah, right there <laughs> and for let's see what we have for today's new moon reading so for pile number one we have uh, the champion for pile number two we have the sentinel for pile number three we have the Hound, and for pile number four, we have the Queen. If you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. For pile number one, we have the Red Jasper, and this is what it looks like. For pile number two, we have the Lapis Lazuli, and this is what it looks like. For pile number three, we have the Yellow Aventurine, and this is what it looks like. And for pile number four, we have the Dalmatian Jasper. And this is what it looks like. All right, so take a look at which one of these four piles you're the most drawn to. And that is probably the pile for you here, here today. If you feel drawn to more than one pile or all of them, Trust your intuition. Feel free to check all of them out if you want. And as usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I'll see you in your readings. Hey Soul Family, that's the shuffling and the card picking process as always. And let me introduce the cards to you. On the left are the uh, oracle cards that we will be using. And on the right are the tarot decks that we will be using for this reading. Okay, so let's set the intention before the reading. We want to know how is the new moon in Gemini? affecting uh, your life in the next month what to expect also if you're interested in any of the decks that i use i always leave their names down in the description box whatever deck that i use okay let's start with our oracle cards first and shuffle what oh thanks that was quick one, two, three, and four. 
Okay, let's move on to the next. How is the new moon in Gemini affecting your life the next month? What can you expect? All right. The third, uh, sorry, this will be the fourth Oracle deck. I'm using part of the moon uh, Oracle. I found it to be really cool in terms of energy for today's reading. It has uh, the energies of the different moon phases in the diff different elements. Okay, like in the fire signs and the water signs and so on. And we'll be using this energy to kind of gauge what type of uh, energy to expect in your month. So... How is the new moon in Gemini? I feel this one. I felt this one. Affecting the four piles today in the next month, please. What can they expect? Wonderful. All right. With the tarot decks that we will be using, um, I'm going to be picking out two cards from each deck for the four piles for the reading today. All right. So, ooh, I feel this one. One, two, three, and four. One, two, Three and four. Moving on to the next deck. What energies to expect, please? What kind of effect will the new moon in Gemini have on their lives the next month? Moving on to our next deck. I love this deck. Oh my god, guys, you will not believe what happened. I randomly had a friend call me now, and uh, that friend passed me some coffee. Isn't this sweet? Which never really happens. <laughs> but talk about the energy of Gemini, right? Spontaneity, uh, connecting with people. That I don't want to say rarely, it doesn't happen. <laughs> so we can already see the energy of Gemini um, starting to have an effect on our lives. And I felt like it happened during the pile preparation so you can get the sense of that. It's like a collective energy meant for all of us to feel together. Okay, so ooh, that's ready. One, two, three and four let's get the second round one two three and four okay now with intention right one two three and four one two three and four Wonderful. So, uh, the four piles are ready. Let's put them neatly together. So, this is pile number one. Ooh. There we go. Well, 
with the red jasper. Pile number two. with the Sentinel and the Lapis Lazuli pile number three with the hound if you hear any background noises as you know this is my dog <laughs> i always keep him uh, with me all right and pile number four with Queen and the Dalmatian Jasper. All right, so now our four piles are ready. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I love spending it with you. Believe me, I feel your energies. I feel your sweetness. And uh, it's so tranquil. I feel like collectively we experience a lot of tranquility during this process and i love uh, feeling your energies and it's felt throughout the piles i'm glad your energies are stamped all over these piles uh, for your readings so thank you very much and let's get straight to your reading hi pile number one welcome to your reading you have chosen the beautiful red jasper as well as the champion. What a card to begin with, right? Okay, so let's keep your main card here and take a look at the rest of your cards and see the energy for the next month. And especially that we're taking a look at how it's affecting your life this next month and what to expect. Okay, so you have night ride oh let me adjust that there we go lovely night ride okay something is maybe being concealed or hidden at the moment uh, someone is not showing something or you're not showing something that is wise we see with the elephant the idea of wisdom again as well Oh, I just got a knock on the door at the very beginning of your reading. So yeah, like we were saying, there's something that is uh, wisely being conceived either from you or you're uh, con um, hiding something. Especially that we have the elephant, which always reminds me of the Hindu god Ganesh, which also is a symbol of wisdom and wealth. Let's let's keep this here and let's take a look at all the cards together. So you have last quarter waning water moon in the water element and that is manipulation. Okay. And you have the fourth house. Cultural and family roots, home, peace and comfort. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Now let's take a look at your tarot cards. You have the Two of Swords. Again, not seeing something, hiding something. All right. Maybe you're considering something without all of the information being 
present that could be a thing especially with manipulation uh, in your reading appearing here and with the champion um you know how when you win and you raise your um you yield your sword in victory and steel it radiates in the sun is that what it called it reflects in the sun and it's almost blinding so we keep seeing the message that you're you're not seeing something in specific. You're winning, but there's something that you're not seeing. Ooh, look at the magician L taking a closer look at something. So we have the magician. Two of swords, you're already thinking about it a lot. The magician is, you have the skills for it. And perhaps you're being invited to look at something. You have the five of swords with comparison. How interesting, right? <laughs> to look and to compare and see what's missing. You have the 10 of pentacles with we are the world. You have the 10 of wands. You have the three of wands. The emperor. I feel like this emperor is kind of wearing a carnelian. All confident, radiating strength. All right. And you have the page of swords depicted in this deck as the page of voices hmm. i've pushed the cards a little bit upwards so that you can see your cards better okay so we're taking a look this month at two things two prevalent energies happening to you one of them overshadowing the other but there is this message of being careful we see here that there was one area of your life that you really focused your efforts in as opposed to the other seeing the fourth house come in i would and the emperor of course and the champion i'm seeing that these two areas could be your work and maybe either your family life or friends, socializing maybe, especially that this is the new moon in Gemini, which is really pushing me to say that one area of your life, you've been working very hard and you're getting great results for it this month. But with the new moon in Gemini, you're being pushed to start tackling another area of your life that you have kind of pushed away and haven't been dealing with because it brought a lot of stress to you. Um, you've been with the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords, you've been really focused on what's important to you and that is your work in comparison to everything else. And you are definitely uh, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Champion here seeing amazing results in your work this month. Um, it depends on what type of work you're doing exactly, but we can, we can clearly see through the energy of your cards that you are very skilled, you put in the work, and with the Ten of Pentacles and the Champion, you're celebrating a great milestone at work this month. You're reaping the benefits of, uh, of your hard-earned efforts. But we can see with the Champion here, um, as you yield your sword in victory, don't let it blind you because sometimes either when we're celebrating and we're so in the moment we don't want to forget um, and let this moment blind us for, um, with what's important and with the things that we need to keep in mind sometimes as we yield and live this moment fully without focusing on anything else sometimes we celebrate too early and we realize that the opponent is already getting up and is about to hit in the back. 
sometimes it's not just about work. Maybe it's uh, there's this message of you not being too blinded by this victory uh, at the expense of something else that is very important in your life. And we see with the emperor here to stay to stay strong, especially that you were drawn to the red jasper as well. So I'm seeing with this three of wands, especially that it came in conjunction with the fourth house, we can see here that there is um, maybe an, uh, can you see this card? I don't know why I can't, let me adjust that. There we go. <laughs> so I see that there is an unexpected, maybe phone call, unexpected family gathering and you're going you're uh, amidst your celebration you're going oh shifting your focus away going oh now I have to meet these people um, it's not that you whether you love them or not that's not the, the energy of the reading here it's just that you've been putting it off whether this is something you like or not, I'm getting this hint that you may not really like it because of manipulation. Maybe some of these people you may not like because of their um, manipulation tactics, or maybe not. Maybe you were lying to yourself. I don't want to say lying. That's a big word. Sometimes we say things to ourselves, all of us, to push ourselves away from the things that we're not comfortable with or we don't like. We don't want to face now. So that's definitely not lying. It's um, um, telling ourselves things, oh, I don't have time for that. Oh, I uh, will deal with this later. Um, I don't like doing this. Uh, or maybe I have more important things to do, whatever it is. So it's either we don't want to meet certain people because of their manipulative tendencies or maybe it's because we put something off that we we covered something that we don't want to deal with at the moment because we're focusing on something else that's taking our attention. Either case, maybe it's both. In either case, I see the new moon in Gemini, pile number one, pushing you to meet people um, this month. You'll be connecting with old ones or with family uh, you'll be pushed to socialize. And I see your advice here with the emperor is that, especially with the jasper as well, I mean, seeing the carnelian, the emperor and the jasper, my goodness, you have a strong message from your spirit guides telling you, you are strong, vibrant and confident. Bring that part of you back now. It's time for you to enjoy you. It's time of you. It's time for you to bring that out. Uh, and you'll realize that you, as opposed to what you thought, you will be having a lot of fine, uh, fine time, good time. You'll be radiating with confidence and power. And you will realize that you haven't been seeing it the right way, maybe. Um, that it will open up your eyes and your thoughts to, hey, why aren't I having more fun, you know? Why aren't, I, why aren't I enjoying time more with others? I've closed off this area with these people or with this area in my life because we're taking a look at two areas, focusing on just one. So as much as it was uh, very important for you to put all of this focus in this area, you're celebrating that this month. Congratulations, pile number one. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. But now you're being invited to take a look at another area of your life that is dear to you. It's important to you. But maybe you weren't a really, you were protecting yourself from it for one reason or the other. And now, uh, just like I see fate presented in this elephant. It's now taking you, even though you're covering it, it's taking you by force <laughs> to um, connect with another important area of your life. You will initially uh, uh, maybe not like the news. You will feel overwhelmed 
with a new area that you have to deal with in your life. But soon, very soon from the beginning, you'll see your confidence radiating. You'll enjoy your time with these people. You will find a new um, getting with all this Jasper and Carnelian that there is new power in you. There is, uh, yeah, with the red candles as well, as, as well. It's like you're seeing a new you, either because you're having so much fun reconnecting back with these people or with uh, friends or with family, or because you've tapped into your power. You've fully tapped into your power. You're tapped into your confidence and you're ready to rumble, as they say, <laughs> pile number one. Such beautiful energy in your reading. I see your initial response to that as, oh, I'm comfortable alone. I'm comfortable doing my thing. I don't want to have to deal with this. But you will see, pile number one, that you will be getting so much from this con from connecting with people this month you'll be getting benefits not only on a personal level where you're enjoying yourself but you're also getting some other benefit i'm seeing another benefit let me let me uh take your cards I'm seeing twos all over your reading. Two, two, two. It's giving me this intuitive feeling that there are two things, especially with the two hands raised. I'm going to follow that. I know we've been talking about work and uh, something else, but let's see if my intuition is right or not. That's okay. I see two eggs. I feel like you will be benefiting with two things. So can we kindly know what exactly what pile number one will be benefiting out of this? We already see confidence, fun. Can we get more information about whether it's one or two? What the, the question is, what are the benefits or the benefit that pile number one will be getting from uh, doing this tough thing, uh, heavy thing on their heart, meeting people here. Alright, All right. and I feel this one. Let's see. So, Knight of Wands, we can already see gathering, preparing the table, Right? Feminine energy with receptivity. Okay. Yeah, with all of these, I feel like this gathering is not easy for you. Uh, it's going to require a lot of uh, energy from you. Four of Swords. The Hermit. Six of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. We see them right there. Ah, we were just talking about it being a, a little competitive at the table or at the gathering. Maybe a little, maybe not competitive, but more like it requires a lot of energy. And I see you overcoming. Um, yes, do you see with the emperor and the six of wands, which is all about victory and success. So we see you overcoming once and for all this type of uh, energy that you don't like there, especially that I see manipulation. So we're seeing with the Four of Swords, that's a lot of thinking. I see you being sharp-minded. I see you being calm. 
with the hermit, tra calm, tranquil, and we'll talk about that in a second. But I see you over. Hey, soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Terror. Apologies, was adjusting the camera. So like we said, you're overcoming a challenging people or a challenging situation. So we're seeing you succeeding here. And here are the two highlights uh, that you will be balancing out this month of you putting in the effort to succeed at your work. You've been spending time on your own and not connecting with others to make that work. So that's working with you for you this month. But surprisingly, the other area that you haven't really been had the time to focus on because you were too tired uh, will work out great very quickly. Uh, isn't this wonderful? You'll see that it's not really always about things taking a lot of time to work. It's about doing things in a smart way. And I see you've maybe done a lot of healing, a lot of growing. You've become stronger and you're easily tackling the other area in your life um, as well. Now, so that's the first thing that we can see happening uh, with this as a benefit of this uh, connection. The second thing, as I felt really here, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You're getting something new out of this. I'm not sure what this is. This could be a new friend, a new business opportunity, maybe um, something that you've wanted, like romance, especially that I kind of see commitment, a ring um, in the champion's hands. So that could be something. Uh, it, 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 you're getting something. It's going to, of course, as a general reading, differ from one person to the other. But you're also starting something new here. And a, a surprise benefit coming from this connection. With the Two of Wands, I see you having... Because this Two of Wands, it's focusing on something, you know? And I see that you have all the skills necessary to go through this maybe because of your internal heal healing either, or because of the work that you already put in, in your uh, business or work or job. Another knock. I can't believe this. As I was taking a closer look at the two of wands, <laughs> trying to intuitively think of what it could be for you the door knocks reminding us of the initial knock that happened in the beginning how can we forget that thank you spirit <laughs> so a new opportunity is coming knocking on your door and that you know it goes hand in hand so beautifully with the two of wands because the two of wands is the first deacon of um uh, first deacon of aries so we have aries in Mars, we have Aries and Mars, which is all about a force, a great force coming that you are absolutely ready for. Pile number one. I'm so excited for you. I hope uh, when this happens, <laughs> since we all heard the knock on the door, what this opportunity, what this new beginning could be. I hope you remember and tell us in the comment section, pile number one. I'm wishing you all the best of luck. Looks like an amazing month for you. And pile number one, that was your reading. It was such a pleasure doing this reading for you. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book. Uh, there's an audiobook to this productivity book now. If you've bought the book, you already have a promo code in your email so that you can get it at a great discount. Uh, but this, if this is the first time for you to hear this, this book is small, straight to the point, And so you won't procrastinate on reading it. But really, pile number one, uh, it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. And so if you're interested in that, you'll find a link to this ebook 
down in the description box. And pile number one, like I said, it was such a pleasure. I wish you all the best of luck. Don't forget to update if you can. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next reading. All the best of luck. Bye. Oh, pile number one, before you leave, I was planning on pulling out a mantra for your month for this reading. So uh, a mantra that you can read, it's enclosed in a circle um, for creative manifestation. So I wanted to see what card is out for you this month. So your card is... My energies are renewed and swiftly magnetize all good things for the happiness, pleasure, and delight of my heart. What a card. If you want to keep this mantra uh, for the whole month on your phone, I will leave uh, a, a good picture of this on my Instagram page. You'll find the link to this Instagram uh, in the description box. And see you pile number one. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful Lapis Lazuli as well as the Sentinel. So let's take a look at what to expect uh, and how the new moon in Gemini is affecting your life the next month. Okay, so we'll be taking a look at your oracle cards first. You have the waxing earth moon the crescent with investment okay i'm kind of already right away although i don't like to interpret right away but i'm kind of feeling like there is some sort of finances that are being protected um maybe you feel like uh, you could be losing some money or that you may not be receiving some money, something of the sort. And we're getting the message of that being protected, uh, pile number two. But of course, we'll take a look at the rest of the cards and see what this whole, it, it all says together for you. You have the 10th house with structure, discipline, <clears throat> life mission, accomplishments and career. Okay, how interesting. And you have to the moon and back. Love your cards, pile number two. Let's see uh, what your tarot cards have to say. So you have the eight of wands. Love that next to investment. You have the high priestess. Can you see? Apologies about that. There we go. You have the high priestess. The Ace of Swords with Consciousness, right. Hmm. Making educated decisions, financial educated decisions. All right, you have the uh, King of uh, Cups with Healing. Sorry, apologies, this is the Queen, the Swords up, the Queen of Cups with Healing. You have the lover's card that says for sale. So again, I'm kind of reminded of investment, business, career, something of that sort. You have justice. Okay. The empress. And the Queen of Cups. What an interesting reading. So straight away, I can clearly see, especially with the Queen of Cups coming up <laughs> right under each other. This one in specific is talking about healing. I see to the moon and back. There's a lot of financial activity happening to you in specific pile number two um, during the next month. With the protection, I feel that there may have been some sort of constraint or worry, especially with this justice card. We do see her rubbing her legs, uh, enduring something for a while to keep uh, an image 
and now she gets to rest or they get to rest. So you could have been worrying about some sort of financial constraint um, that was kind of taking a toll on you a little bit or you didn't know how it was going to go. I see you. I see that the moon in Gemini is really helping expedite this process. I see uh, the advice of what the high priestess and consciousness right in conjunction with each other of carefully studying the situation, planning it well and making sure that you take educated decisions that will not just help you this time, it will help you moving forward. And so with the lover's card, I'm seeing a situ the lover's card and the queen of cups with healing. I'm seeing that you will be so resolving the situation once and for all, where there could have been a bottleneck or something that could have caused some troubles in the future. And with this situation, you're resolving something once and for all, carefully planning for it, and you will love the outcome. You're healing a situation. You're healing this bottleneck and making something flow uh, easily to you. Finances in specific flow easily to you. And so you may be feeling some sort of burden now, and that is for you to to direct your vision or direct your attention to something that needs healing. As I said, that will really help you in the future. You will be really thankful that this happened and that you've taken a pause to protect your finances, uh, finances or your future plans or the flow of income uh, to you. Pile number two. I see with the Empress here of you creating a path that, that is healing for you and for others, especially that it's coming right in conjunction with the Ace of Swords, with consciousness. It's a very integral step that you're taking here with the Moon in Gemini that will be protecting you, uh, protecting your job or your business and protecting the people dealing with you. So we really see an important decision being made here. I want to find out more about this for you, uh, pile number two, of with, especially with the high priestess. What are you being advised to do in specific other than study and look at the situation carefully? Taking a look at this moon card, there are several probabilities, especially that we two, we see two birds and a swinging moon back and forth. Could you perhaps be swinging back and forth between two things, not giving uh, both the full attention that you, you uh, may want to or that they need? Could it be that you're being a little bit wishy-washy when it comes to a certain task or a certain area that needs your full attention. Perhaps these are the bottlenecks that are the reason for the constraints you are facing. Um, with this, I see to the moon and back to do something fully uh, until completion. Yeah, we see here to the moon and back, the moon is really affecting uh, you during that time, especially the moon in Gemini, helping you take uh, an important conscious decision to finally put your attention where it needs it exactly. So like I said, I'm going to be taking your tarot cards and asking what is your advice from spirit um, on what you need to do exactly with this situation. May we kindly know what is pile number two's advice on this situation? Thank you. Okay. We have the seven of wands studying something. Unbelievable. Right. Don't be afraid of challenge at all. Uh, sometimes we feel that especially in the beginning of a challenge, we get ideas of, 
oh, it's not going to work. Uh, we, I don't know how to resolve this. It's not going to be resolved. Uh, I'm seeing the advice of calming down and um, really making an educated decision. Whatever is right needs to get done, whether you feel like it or not. To take the right decision based on studies and not based on uh, one's own per po point of view only. But to see what needs to get done and then do that. Pile number two. And not to be afraid of taking these steps, little by little. Pile number two. You have the eight of pentacles to get right into work. There's this strong message of get right to, uh, into it. Don't be afraid. Start working on it and start working on it. Do you see how this figure is smiling here? To not worry, to know that everything will work out beautifully, but to study it carefully and to take the necessary steps quickly. Ooh, <laughs> I felt this one wanted to come out. You have the six of wands. This will be victorious. It will succeed. Don't worry. You might initially feel that uh, it's very steep to climb, that it's it may not work out, but you will see that in few steps, you'll be able to make it succeed if you uh, read well, study it well, and think carefully of what needs to get done and to do the right thing, not based on your opinion, not based on what you see, but rather on what you study. Uh, on what you've read, on what the maybe the experts say or what the company that you're dealing with is saying or whatever the situation is, of course. You have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands always reminds me of uh, quick movement, especially with the Eight of Wands. I'm seeing the message of move quickly and everything will happen quickly for you. The quicker you move, uh, and the quicker you put your attention to what needs your attention, uh, the quicker you take action calmly and smoothly, the quicker things will happen for you. You have the world card, which is the completion card. So whatever it is that you are worried about, financially in specific, will be resolved. Uh, and it's going to end a cycle of, see, you have for sale and buy now. Unbelievable. <laughs> so it's ending this cycle of um, some sort of issues happening that may be hindering your expansion, especially with the sale, sale, sale that I'm seeing here all over your reading. And so it was important to resolve something in order to expand, either in your job, your career, as the 10th house shows, or your company, or yeah, whatever it is that your studies, whatever it is that you're doing, resolving some sort of a bottleneck that will help expand your investment or expand your efforts. You have the six of pentacles. Again, do you see the the constant advice? What you're, you'll be doing now will reap greater rewards. Don't worry, pile number two. And what is that last card? Wow. <laughs> and you have the Nine of Pentacles, showing that, again, from the very beginning, we can see that this new moon in Gemini. Yeah, because, you know, Gemini is all about communication, uh, a thought process, thinking things through. And so, yeah, Mercury is the messenger. And so studying things, and taking a closer look at something, you'll be receiving uh, information that is critical for this uh, milestone uh, in your journey that will help further expand, help you expand and do things much in a much smoother way. You will see later on the sort of energy that I'm seeing here. You will see later on that what seemed tiresome now uh, worrisome to you was the cause was integral for um, the blessings that are coming later you'll be thanking yourself and thanking 
fate and this, with the receptivity, especially here, that this happened to help you receive things better in the future. Uh, pile number two. Yeah, and this is why you have the sentinel showing that this is a time of protection. It may feel a bit rough, but it is there to protect something much bigger, bigger in the future. Success is all over your reading. You will be um, seeing this success next month. It's not something that is uh, that you will have to wait, as I can see from your energies, quick energy. Uh, it's not something that you will be, you will have to wait a long time to see. I see quick things happening uh, once you take action. And so we understand what this card was trying to say right away. There is flight meant to happen with all these feathers here, this wing. Oh, the swing and the wing. So you're meant to fly. Uh, but with the swinging, you're, you might be procrastinating on something. Uh, perhaps you know you should be doing something, but you, you're not giving it that much importance because you have other things on your plate that you find is very important. But now you, with the constraints, now you understand that this is important. And so you're not going to be uh, putting it off or being wishy-washy about it or procrastinating on taking action, not thinking that it was that important. I see you being firm about it now, uh, stopping the swinging and saying, okay, right, right. Now it's time for us to deal with the situation. Let's see what we need to do. Let me study the situation well. Get informed decisions of what the right thing to do is. Uh, ask, get information, and to do just that. To work on it little by little. Uh, and uh, it's really amazing with the Six of Wands as well. Again, quick energy. Do you see how this figure only has a couple of steps to take? Her arms with the first step are already towards the end, <laughs> the top of this little hill, right? So we see success happening straight away for you in the next month. I'm so happy for you, pile number two. All the best of luck with that. And as I mentioned, you will see that this constraint was really just put, uh, putting your attention in the right direction. So this is the reading that I see for you, pile number two. All the best of luck with that. <laughs> um, if you've chosen an, another pile, don't forget to check it out. Other than that, uh, if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book. It really may help you in your journey, pile number two. And also, I just want to um, announce that now there's an audiobook to uh, this uh, ebook. If you've already bought it, you already have a promo code in your email for a big discount for the audiobook since you've already bought the book. And pile number two, if you haven't heard about it before, this book is small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate on reading it, but it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. And so if you're interested in that, you will really find this in the book. Uh, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box with every with all the information that you may need along with the reviews. And pile number two, it was such a pleasure doing this reading for you. I'm wishing you all the best of luck. <laughs> may you be blessed for the rest of your life. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Oh, wait, pile number two. I promised I would do this, uh, promised myself I would do this. I did it for pile number one and forgot. I want to pull out a mantra for your month, a mantra that you can keep uh, for the rest of the month uh, that you can say. These mantras are enclosed in a circle, so it contains the energies of manifestation. And I want to find out what is your mantra of the month. Uh, if you want to keep this mantra, the whole month with you. I'll be posting these on my Instagram. You'll find a link to this, to my Instagram down in the description box with a clear picture so you can keep it with you all month. So your mantra is, I am a living mandala of unique divine beauty. 
888, Cosmic Code, Alignment into a Higher Order of Abundance. I am a living mandala of unique divine beauty. It's so amazing how your mantra is talking about abundance. So all the best of luck with that pile number two. You'll find it on my Instagram page and I'll catch you later. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful yellow aventurine as well as the hound. So let's take a look at your cards and see exactly how the new moon in Gemini is affecting your life this month and what to expect. So as usual, we'll be taking a look at your oracle cards first. You have the waning water moon with commitment. How interesting already. Okay. You also have trying angelic support harmony and perfect flow it's really cool that you have the trine as well uh, looks like great energy for this month you have the art of seduction i see a lot of uh, gemini energy for sure affecting this month for you but first let's take a look at um, your tarot cards you have, wow, starting off with the Nine of Cups. That's wonderful, uh, pile number three. Have such beautiful energy and feeling happy and connecting with others. It's all over your reading. So uh, the moon in Gemini is really affecting your connections with other people this month. You have the Four of Pentacles. Two of Wands with Possibilities. The Seven of Swords with Politics. You have the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Five of Wands. Okay, so something is up here. Let's take a look at that. And you have the Three of Pentacles. And you have the Five of Cups. Wow, looks like an interesting month for sure. We see things that you will be working on, especially that you have the Yellow Aventurine and the Hound and uh, other areas of your life especially in terms of connecting with others. You know what, pile number three? I mean, take a look at this with me, right? If you are single, you have commitment, nine of cups, the art of seduction. Do you see that with me in conjunction with each other? So uh, also <clears throat> you have the trine with the perfect flow. I see uh, a beginning or a spark uh, of something that seems to be with someone, some seduction happening this month or flirting, um, having an eye on someone or someone having an eye on you and a little bit of playing games and um, connecting with each other, a little bit of butterflies that may lead to commitment later on, especially, <coughs> apologies, with the trine here. As you know, the trine is when two... Planets are 120 degrees uh, away from each other. And this creates this perfect flow and harmony between them. <coughs> so we see uh, a great foundation happening um, with the both of you, pile number three. That's coming up very strong. But I do see uh, something, uh, it's not a warning, but I do see some sort of message here. Of course, with the yellow aventurine, this is a lot of attraction. This is a lot of um, uh, energy towards each other. But with the hound, especially with the four of pentacles and the five of wands, I do see for you uh, whether this is a romantic connection uh, or a friend. This could be a business partner. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but if 
you're single. This is coming out very strong here. So back to the reading. This could be one type of connection that the moon in Gemini is kind of uh, having an eff a strong effect on you uh, in your life with meeting someone here. With the hound, I would say be careful, pile number three. Not that this person will turn out bad. Not at all. In fact, we did see with the with the trine that there is a perfect flow, that there's commitment happening. But I see the advice here for you with the hound to not give a, um, a promise of something right away, whether this is a business or romantic connection or even a friend. Sometimes at the height of emotions, we're super happy and we can commit to things that we later on may regret. Um, so don't make any promises of committing to anything during the height of emotions, like, for example, signing a contract or moving countries or making a promise that you later might feel is unfair to you and so on. Make sure that you when you are at the height of emotions and enjoying it, yes, you are building a beautiful foundation with someone, hold off decisions, uh, yes, with the Four of Pentacles. Um, with the Five of Wands, there is this eternal battle going on between you really wanting to keep the flow happening and enjoying this so much, and another part of you is going, ah, wait, uh, don't make commitments too early. Wait and let it sink in. Think about it. And you do have the two of wands with possibilities here. Uh, think about things so that you don't fall into a tricky situation with the seven of swords, especially that it's depicted as politics here. The five of emotions are again showing that you could regret it. Uh, so with regretting, with uh, uh, the regretting as well as the politics here, I'm kind of seeing that it's going to be hard to tread through later, to change it, where you will have to um, act happy when you're really not feeling this way in order to carefully solve it later. So with the Seven of Pentacles, I see that things will ripen for you, things will happen, the agreements that you do together will work out beautifully if you take it little by little and step by step. Um, take time to think about things and enjoy the, this beautiful connection <laughs> at the same time, uh, pile number three. I'm seeing, along with the message of taking your time, uh, we do see the two of wands as well as the three of pentacles. I would say you're being guided by your spirit guides to cooperate with this person and slowly putting your heads together and thinking of solutions or thinking of ideas that <clears throat> will work in perfect harmony with the both of you. And that's why, again, you have the art of seduction here, where both of you could be speaking to each other and convincing each other of a different point of view that the other may not have heard. And be careful while you do that, that um, you don't uh, push someone of course from uh, what they want to do as well considering both point of views uh, pile number three remember that everything that is made in agreement during a high may not feel the same later on whether for you or for them so even if someone is um, giving you a word or not a word, that's not what I want to say. Even if someone wants to make you happy now, always consider how they will feel later on um, as time goes by. And so the advice here is to cooperate and collaborate to make sure that both of you um, are treated fairly with this agreement. Here. There is a sort of agreement about to happen, uh, pile number three. If this is a romantic connection, perhaps uh, you will be really into each other that some sort of decisions may need to be made. 
What an interesting reading. <laughs> Pile number three. Okay, so now, I, now that we know what's going on in the energy of next month and what to expect, I'm going to take your tarot cards and find out more information about this person. And I'm going to also um, ask how to deal with the situation, this um, kind of warning that we say here to not over promise and what to do. So first, may we kindly get more information about this person, please? <laughs> okay, so one, two, three. Okay, these want to come out four, five. Right. And obviously this one as well. These are a lot, but let's take a look. Okay, so. Ooh, so you have temperance. Looks like it's gonna be a good time with this person. <laughs> Your cards are just wonderful. Whether this is a romantic partner or friend or a business partner or family member. So you have temperance. Again, chariot, you see things moving quickly and uh, people connecting with each other. You have the Ten of Wands. The Two of Swords. And again, it's lining up right above the Two of Wands. Ooh, you have the Devil with Temptation here. And you have the Hierophant as well as the Four of Wands ending this reading. There's a celebration with commitment in the Four of Wands. Uh, this could be someone that you will commit to for the rest of your life. Perhaps even marry if this is a romantic connection. Uh, maybe someone is proposing to you this month. Um in terms of a relationship that is already there. There are so many possibilities. I'm sure you know what this is about for you. Okay, so let's get more information about this person. Uh, pile number three. Oh, all right, so this is obviously here explaining that this is someone you're going to get along with beautifully. You're going to have a lovely time with them. Uh, and things will be moving quickly between the two of you. Let's get to the important part here. So we see that this is a person coming in a time where with a Ten of Wands, could you be feeling an overwhelm in life? Or maybe um, you could have spent a long time being single and Ten of Wands is the end of the cycle of you see someone going back home alone, um, doing everything on their own. Um, this could also be you worrying or feeling the burden of carrying business on your own. So obviously this person um, is going to come alleviate some of what you're feeling here with the temperance. Not that you need someone, but to share it with someone. So there's a lot of um, balance in this energy here. It's the end of this cycle. With this balance, there's a lot of thought that needs to get done with the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords uh, falling on top of each other. And we're asking more information about this person. So here you go, uh, pile number three. With this type of energy, sometimes we are tempted to enjoy all of it. Do you see this, the scoop of ice cream here? Uh, sometimes we are tired after a long day of work. We just want to take um, a big cup of ice cream, you know, <laughs> and just indulge in it instead of um, eating our healthy food, for example, and of course, enjoying our ice cream, but with moderation. What I'm trying to say is the energy that I'm seeing here, especially that the devil here is coming right next to the Hierophant, which is depicted as some sort of natural medicine shop uh, that sells herbs and 
essential oil, oils and things like that. We do see health as opposed to uh, temptation. And I'm really seeing here, be careful to tread with balance. That's all over your reading with the temperance and the two of wands and of course the two of swords. To choose with the two of swords carefully uh, what you say, what you do, what you commit to, how you deal with this person, or to choose even your thoughts and not get super tempted and allow yourself perhaps to let go with everything, to, but to have the self-control that you always have or that you're building and to do it the right way. So here the message is enjoy it, indulge in it, but at the same time, be careful to do it in a healthy way. Uh, Pile number three. This is coming here very strong. You do it the healthy way. Things will work out beautifully with the four of wands and the seven of pentacles. They'll work out slowly but surely. <clears throat> and you two celebrating some sort of beautiful commitment together. Whether this is uh, being together, a marriage, a business partnership, uh, a, a strong friendship, and so on. So, yes, urge the temptation that comes in the beginning of you feeling that, oh, finally, I have something that I love. Enjoy that, but don't indulge too much. Just tread um, slowly and carefully, just like the temperance uh, pile number three. Okay, so this seems to me that for a lot of you, this is a new person. Or if there there is a new, there's already a person in your life, whether in business or romance, or a, a friendship that has already started to form, it seems like it's going to be, you're going to bond greatly with this person. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, they're going to balance some sort of worries and some sort of hardship in an area of your life. And it's going to turn out beautiful with this person as you tread carefully and slowly. Um, pile number three. I don't want to leave you there. I We can already see the advice clear and strong, but I will pull out two cards as promised in this area and get more information. So do we have more information with regards to how to deal with this person? Please. All right. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is an independent character. And that's a very strong message here, uh, figure or archetype. You have the Knight of Wands. And you have the Nine of Swords. So the your advice here is to be independent because with all this fire energy of the knight of wands and the excitement it's not about not enjoying something it's about how you enjoy it is the message i'm seeing here you know let's say for example again since we're talking about ice cream as an example let's say you have a big box of nice delicious ice cream in your fridge. One way to do it is to enjoy a scoop every now and then to the fullest. Enjoy it so much. Even if you're going to have a little scoop every day, this is not nutritional advice. You know that I'm just giving, um, yeah, I mean, that's not what I believe in having ice cream every day, but that these are just my thoughts. I'm not a true nutritionist. And so this is a disclaimer to only explain the type of energy. You can have a scoop that you can enjoy every day in moderation and enjoy it so that you don't um, regret the consequences and let it stress you later. Uh, perhaps it could uh, result to anxiety or it could result to a tummy ache or whatever it is. As opposed to in fully indulging in it all in and then later on feeling, oh, I've... What have I done? I could have been careful with this and could have been careful with that. And yeah, 
maybe I don't even feel like ice cream anymore. I've eaten too much. Whatever the situation that could stress you out here is. Um, and so there's a big advice. Enjoy. The queen of pentacles is just amazing here. It's a card of independence, yet it's depicted as <laughs> um, some sort of partnership as we've been seeing all over your reading. And so enjoy your partnership with this person while keep while being independent standing strong on your two feet enjoying it but at the same time not to the extent in a healthy way not to the extent where it could it would stress you out later and that is your message pile number three i wish you all the best of luck and wonderful energy with this person <laughs> may you have a fabulous month um pile number three that was your reading if you've enjoyed it in fact your card started off with a nine of pen, a nine of cups showing that it's a very enjoyable month so from my heart to you may you enjoy it to the fullest and if you've enjoyed this reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload don't forget to click on your notification bell and please don't forget to check out my productivity book uh, in fact if you already have it I want to announce that I've created an audiobook now. You can hear it. And if you already bought the book, you already have a promo code in your email for a big discount on that. And pile number three, if you don't know about it, this book is small, straight to the point, And so you won't procrastinate on reading it. But it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. And so if you're interested in that, You'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. And it was such a pleasure, pile number three. And before I go, like I've done with every pile, I'm going to bring out a mantra card for your month. Hold on. These are energy cards, uh, um, energies and mantras for manifestation enclosed in a circle, of course, to keep these energies. All right, let's see what you have. This is your mantra of the month, pile number three. I nurture my dreams along the spiraling creative path to higher fulfillment, nourished by hope and empowered by inspiration. If you feel like this mantra is truly speaking to you and to your soul, I will leave a good picture of this in my Instagram. You'll find a link to this Instagram in the description box. And pile number three, it was such a pleasure. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number four. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful Dalmatian Jasper as well as the Queen. So let's take a look at your cards and find out exactly how the new moon in Gemini uh, is affecting your month, um, your life this next month and what to expect. So you have the waning earth moon with negotiation. So we have the queen and negotiation. That's interesting already. You have the moon satisfy emotional needs nurture self and others uh, quite an interesting combination with the moon negotiation and the queen are you preparing to have a tough discussion with someone um you know how some people shy away from having uh a tough discussion, but that puts things straight, sets clear boundaries and makes you a great leader. That's the sort of energy I'm seeing here. But first, we don't want to jump into conclusions. I want to take a look at the rest of your cards. You have C Witch. Quite interesting. Do you see it has a um, propeller that is moving the C Witch forward quickly? Okay. Let's now take a look at your tarot cards. So, yeah, there's a lot of movement. Do you see? You have the Six of Swords. A lot of movement, but carefully with all the water element. Uh, not in the swords. I mean, 
the actual water that we're seeing here with the sea witch and um, the boat and the six of swords and the moon, I'm seeing treading carefully with emotions, but setting clear boundaries in something. Because, you know, the queen knows their goals, is very ambitious and is there to get it done. You have the king of pentacles, again, that kind of strong energy setting things in place. The two of pentacles with moment to moment. The knight of pentacles with slowing down. A lot of slow energy here as well. The king of wands. What are you up to this month? Pile number four. You have the two of cups. You have the devil. And you have the nine of swords. Ooh, what a month. So I'm seeing uh, this month for you, pile number four. The moon in Gemini is helping you to finally have a tough discussion with someone. This could be uh, some, we can already see the discussion happening here in the Two of Cups. It's going to go great. But we, it's either someone at work, someone in your private life, or maybe this is a mix between the two. Um, either way, you're having a strong discussion with someone this month to set things right. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, I would say, and the slowing down, I would say that this is a discussion that needed to be had for quite some time. Maybe you were waiting for the right time. You didn't know how to tread carefully through it uh, so as not to lose this person. Maybe you didn't know how to set your boundaries right. But I see um, that this discussion this month will lead to things moving uh, slowly and beautifully in place where it's going to propel you to move forward in terms of this connection with this person and whatever else you're doing together and working on uh, it's going to be a discussion that is with the moon uh, that first will reveal a lot of things to you and to the other person that perhaps you haven't talked about the both of you or the two parties uh, and slowly but surely you can see this treading carefully here in your energy you'll slowly but surely transform the situation um, from something that used to bring a lot of stress something that could have otherwise built uh, a, a false foundation or a, a wrong a foundation of misinterpretations of both of you your relationship together um, had it been left both of you would have had wrong ideas about each other, would have taken uh, different measures according to false ideas. And that's why you have the devil card. But with this beautiful discussion that both of you will have, strong, confident, yet grounded and very um, graceful, I see that the, tra the situation is transforming. We have a lot of butterflies in this devil uh, card. The situation is completely transform, transforming um, for the both of you or both parties. We even see the Nine of Swords as one of my favorite Nine of Swords because we see tranquility in the Nine of Swords as opposed to what we usually see, stress and anxiety. We see someone who's stressed but has the reins in their hands. Uh, someone who's sleeping, relaxed, taking things calmly, um, not reacting to things, but being in control of their emotions, thinking about things well, and negotiating carefully in order to um, keep what's between you intact, but at the same time, move things the right way, uh, pile number four. We see a lot of queens and kings in your energies, and kings and queens are balanced energies of... Um, 
being emotionally balanced as well as mentally balanced. So we kind of see here you're not driven by your ego. Um, you're more thoughtful here where you're thinking about your situation as well as the other person's situation and together coming up with something where both parties are uh, happy. And that's why you have the propeller moving you forward. That's why you have the two of cups reciprocation in energy. Uh, you getting along beautifully. Okay, so now that we have a good idea about what the moon in Gemini, how it's affecting your month, I'm going to pick up your tarot cards and I will ask two questions to help you out with the situation. First, your advice on what to do exactly to make this negotiation or talk successful, as well as the reaction that the other person will have, what to expect as a reaction to prepare even better from the advice that we see here for you. So first, what are you advised to do? Thank you. So these are two, three, four, and five. And on the other side, we're taking a look at this person's reaction to your advice. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sure this would help you one way or the other. I see two sticking out. I'm going to take them. Okay, so first... Well, these are a lot of cards for reaction, right? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's put this one here. And let's take a look at your advice. So, wow, so you have the six of wands. Okay. The seven of cups. Hmm, I love that, okay. You have the knight of swords. Love that. Okay, that's clear here. You have the Ten of Swords. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Right, so what we're seeing as advice here for you, pile number four, we see a lot of, let's take a look at this first. We see a lot of thinking. We have the seven of cups with not fantasizing, but more daydreaming. And seeing the six of wands in conjunction to the seven of cups, uh, imagine the best case scenario and start planning according to this best case scenario. Things like, what would be the best case scenario for me? And what would be the best case scenario for this person? Now, how can I merge the best case scenario for me and this person to get together in order to reach success? This way, your negotiation, as we see here, will be very strong because now that it's a win-win situation, it's hard to really lose uh, this uh, communication that you're having with the other person. We're seeing the idea of not one winning and the other losing, but more both of you reaching where you want. And to from this place, to think of what to do, what steps to take in order to reach uh, that conclusion. We'll see that, we do see that things will be working out for the two of you. Um, it's not going to be selfish energy from one uh, party or the other. We do see that you'll be able to reach a good conclusion together as long as you're thinking from that place to imagine what both of you want uh, to and to only plan for that case. Um, yeah, for that scenario. Now we see the Ten of Swords as well as the, as well as the Ace of Pentacles. I cannot but think that this is an end of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. Um, we do see a phoenix rising, things of in the past burning, and then a new beginning. This is showing me that uh, another advice is to let the past be in the past. Burn, uh, forget all the situations that happened in the past, and look forward to how to make it better. Um, don't plan while being bitter. Don't plan uh, while trying to get at this person. 
But if you want to continue cooperating with this person, if this is important to you, to leave the past in the past, rise with strength and to see what can we do from this moment moving forward. And you will see that this will create a new solid beginning for you. Um, pile number four. I hope I didn't say pile number one. I don't think I did. But if I did, apologies for that. All right. So now that we see your strong advice on what to do to um, be successful at this negotiation there, and that's why you're depicted as kings and the queen specifically, let's now take a look at what this person's reaction is going to be. So we have the Ace of Swords. We can clearly see that there's a lot of clarity that is going to happen with this person. They will better understand the situation. They will better understand um, wh what your thoughts are. And there's clarity between the two of you in general. That's coming very clear here. We're clearing the air because both of you have revised uh, your actions. Both of you have spoken to each other and realized how the other person is seeing it, not just selfishly where each person is only thinking about themselves, but both of you will see that uh, you both care about the other person's situation as well. So there's a lot of clarity happening. Uh, clearing the air between the both of you. Ooh, this wants to come out. Let's see. You have the three of swords. Yes, of course. You have the four of cups. The high priestess. The Empress healing. <laughs> so nice. The Five of Wands. Hmm. And the Page of Pentacles. This could be related to your work, but not necessarily. I'm just seeing a lot of work in your reading. So before we get to this part, the five of wands really caught my attention. Perhaps there was a lot of tension, whether internally or externally with this person. We really see boundaries that need to get set. Each one feeling a little bit compromised one way or the other. So we're see really seeing this person healing from the constant need of thinking, well, about boundaries being um, compromised we see yeah the idea of when things are wishy-washy each one has to think of how to protect themselves is the kind of energy i'm really seeing here uh with this person we're seeing healing from that for sure with the with this specific empress card as well and we're seeing go things going back to work uh, back to their place where everyone's working in harmony or uh, functioning uh, in a place of harmony a new beginning with the page of uh, pentacles right so with the three of swords we see clarity from pain that was inflicted this is reminding me of the devil energy that we saw here you know the three of swords is pain but pain that results from our own thoughts it's the swords after all so when there isn't clarity and communication each one has to um, follow their own conclusions from the way they can see it and this afflicted a lot of pain perhaps with the four of cups there was starting you were there was a beginning of a crack happening where each one is starting to think oh i may need to go on my own and so the ace of swords is clearing that sort of energy from this person completely there's clarity uh, this time with the uh, with the high priestess and the empress not only is there healing and, and a good nurturing, beautiful connection happening between the two of you, but also there is wisdom. The high priestess is someone who is broad-minded, able to look at things from all perspectives, um, able to rationalize things and to 
think deeper about the situation. So we're seeing this person think wisely about everything now that, now that they have clarity and now that they're healing from the situation, now that there is good air between the two of you, um, clearing out this head-to-head -head situation that was happening, no more feeling like uh, each one has to protect their boundaries because now everything is clear, set in place clearly, everyone knows what their role is, everyone knows what they should do, how to do it, how to speak to each other, etc., etc., and resulting in uh, both of you functioning in this connection uh, peacefully and calmly. Uh, pile number four. Pile number four, all the best of luck with this person. I see you being strong, speaking with strength and confidence. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, strength in this uh, uh, negotiation. You're not recluding, reclusing. You're not uh, being afraid to face things. And you're also doing it confidently, beautifully and gracefully. All while putting your circumstances as well as the other person's circumstances into consideration. Bringing a beautiful outcome for the two of you. I wish you all the best of luck, pile number four. May this month be beautiful for you. May everything work out beautiful for you. <laughs> and that was your reading. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book. If you've bought it already, I just want to announce that I also have an audio book for this book now. And, uh, and I wanted to say if you bought it, you already have a promo code with a big discount for that. But if this is the first time for you to hear about it, pound number four, this book is small, straight to the point, And so you won't procrastinate on reading it but it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the journey. And so if you're interested in that, you'll find a link to this book down in the description box. And pile number four, it was such a pleasure. And I did this with the rest of the piles. I want to bring the mantra for you for this month. Hold on. So these are mantras enclosed in a circle. Whoa, that was quick. Uh, for creative manifestation, your mantra of the month. So you have the unexpected is a secret grace that enhances my soul awakening and nourishes my divine potential. So if you feel like this mantra is calling for you, this is the mantra, your mantra of the month that will really help you boost your energy and um, um, and attract uh, your manifestation manifestations towards you. And if you want a clear picture of this uh, mantra for you to keep on your phone the rest of the month, I will be a leaving a clear picture of this on my Instagram, which you will find linked in the description box. And pile number four, it was such a pleasure wishing you a marvelous month. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.